So here's all the vital information that ITU students need to know. <laughs> so you can find it quickly, actually. Uh, you don't need to know about my recording software. There we go. What do you need to do? Okay, May 1st. May 1st is when all of the assignments are due. You have six homework assignments and four projects and one CSLO. There's no midterm for this course. All of the assignments, all of the projects are due for this particular section of the course. I know in the past I have made some of them optional. This one, we have not had any mishaps, no network down, no issues. So, plus, um, you know, we're trying to enforce a nice academic quality standard and we need to show you know, what the students have done, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Long story short, they're all due. There's entries in the LMS for all of these to be submitted. They are all due by May 1st. The final exam for this course is posted. In fact, for those of you who are brand new, just as a reminder, although the lectures probably aren't in the LMS yet, they will be very soon. But in the meantime, you can go to bhacker.com go into spring 2012 and I'm doing this because I can't even believe how many email messages I get from students that say when's the final exam? when's the next class meeting? it's like oh it's right here for you it's actually on the IT website as well in the schedule but this is the Unix operating system course <laughs> the final exam for this course is on April 14th and 15th you only have to show for one of the two days. The exam will take you approximately an hour to two hours to complete. It will be multiple choice. I will come out with a study sheet for the exam, maybe possibly a video, but no promises, that the TA will send a message about. Because this is uh, March 10th and 11th. Eh. A little bit more than a month, actually. The Java EE people, they got, they got, ours is coming up actually in two weeks. So I have to get working on that one. If you have attended two meetings of the operating systems course, means you have shown up for two different weekends, you've met the attendance requirements, you don't actually have to take the operating systems exam on the 14th and the 15th. If you want to, and if you are taking the Java EE course, and you have attended two operating system weekend meetings, you've met the requirement, you could take both exams on March 24th and 25th and be done with this term in two weeks. Or you could do the exact opposite, because I know you guys are weekend students, some of you might be cross-enrolled in the Java EE class. If you've gone to this class on the 28th or 29th, and you also attended on the 25th or the 26th, means you've met the requirements for the Java EE attendance requirements. You could take and say, I don't want to take the exam on the 24th. That's way too soon. Come in here and take both exams on April 14th or April 15th, your choice. But the problem is, and the key is, and maybe you guys will remember this for next term, nobody ever shows up to the first weekend, and you're stuck. Now you have to show up on this last you don't have any choices you can't select amongst different alternatives you have to show up because you haven't met the attendance requirements which means you can't combine the exam on another day of something else if you haven't shown up at least twice which is the problem so most of you guys are getting your first attendance opportunity today if this is the first time you've been to this course you must show up on April 14th or April 15th you have to <laughs> if you don't you're not meeting attendance requirements so next term, when you guys come in here, if you show up on the first weekend of the weekend class, then you got choices. And then you can plan the rest of your term if you want to, and you could be, I mean, you could be flexible with when you take the exam. So uh, the assignments, the lecture notes, everything is at this link. It will be in the LMS, but don't count on it. Don't wait for it. I don't wait for the last week of the term, although the problems have gone away. But students who have been here before and have gone through this drill, if you wait till the last day, and everything is supposed to be submitted, everybody else has waited for the last day as well. And lo and behold, the EMS will go down. <laughs> you will not have access, and you will miss the deadline. And you'll come back and say, hey, 
my I couldn't upload it. I had an error, and unfortunately, the staff's going to say, "I'm sorry. You should have done it earlier." <laughs> so you can go home this weekend, or you know, <coughs> next week. You can turn in everything. Don't wait till the last week because if there is a problem, there's no extensions on the deadline anymore. We had some extensions for a couple of terms, but we're not allowed to do that anymore. No more extensions on the day. Because it ended up happening as students waited till last day and went, I have none of the stuff ready. Wait, I mean, these are a little bit harder than I expected. I have nothing to turn in. Uh, let's just ask for an extension. And then, oh, yeah, let's just blame it on the LMS or the EMS or whatever and say, hey, I, I couldn't get in. I couldn't get in. Everybody who didn't even have problems with the EMS had problems with the EMS. You know, because of the blanket excuse that people used. So. And then, unfortunately, it hurts those people who actually did have legitimate excuses, like crying wolf or whatever. When you do have a problem, no one's going to listen to you <laughs> because everybody else complained about the problem. And they didn't have problems. They were just lazy. You know, just didn't get anything in. So. Long story short, my advice is to turn it in sooner or later, but better sooner than later, and have it all done by May 1st, and don't wait till the last week or last day. The last day is the problem. The last week is okay. If you do have questions or comments or problems, you can always send me an email message. As you know, I will re respond to you as soon as I can to let you know what's going on, stuff like that. If you had problems with CPT and that you're on the blacklist and you didn't attend the first meeting, see, that's the other thing. If you attend the first meeting, you don't get on the blacklist. You don't have to worry about those nasty messages being sent to you about attendance and stuff like that. And if you put in a CPT or an OPT request, or it gets processed immediately with the utmost attention. If you missed the first class meeting of the... <laughs> They go, oh, there's a problem with you. Now you're on the blacklist. Now we're going to deny everything until you make up your attendance. And so if that was you and you fell into that situation, and uh, I know I talked to a lot of students yesterday about this, Evelyn is available starting tomorrow, Monday. She doesn't work on the weekends, so her line will be out the door, but she'll be clearing it. If you've attended this weekend and you're in that situation, she'll be clearing it and getting you off the blacklist and onto the good list and approving whatever it is that you were applying for that you got denied with. So, questions, comments, or concerns? It was kind of a fast run through. And we're going to hopefully have the TA send you some messages as well to update you on uh, the timings. A little reminder about, you know, before the weekend. You know. When you show up, it'll be a multiple choice exam. I can tell you that. Um, how long it will take, I don't know exactly. But a lot of students plan it so they fly in Friday night, take the exam on Saturday, fly back on Saturday. So you only have to, you, you work all day Friday, get on a plane, this is a lot of work. Work all day Friday, get on a plane, fly here. Spend your Saturday here, go home Saturday night. So it's minimal, minimal inconvenience, essentially. If we don't have any questions, comments, concerns, or problems, as promised, ooh, close. Selling 2.30 is not too bad. <laughs> As promised, we're done. So I take the rest of the day off. Enjoy. Get your get your work done, so you don't have to wait till the last minute.